Hi students, so let's say approximately 40 days are now left for the upcoming gate examination and this is the very crucial time you know where many students are excited about the exam, many students are really into a pressure situation about the examination. Uh, you know, uh, before the exam, before the result date, nobody knows who is going to be a topper, who is going to get what result and etc. Okay, of course, once you give the exam, once you finally appear on the D day, okay, then you really get to know how your performance was, okay. Uh, in this video, uh, a brief talk, I'm going to tell you about, you know, what actually toppers approach is, especially in the last moment, because, you know, the last moment, how your temperament is, how your approach is to the exam in the last, you know, these 30, 40 days will decide. Of course, your entire preparation will decide, but these last 30, 40 days are actually most crucial. Okay, I'm not going to talk about uh, the story of any one topper or story of me as a topper. But in general, of course, I've also topped in the exam. But, you know, since this past 12, 13 years, I've been connected to several students who have topped the exam. Okay, what in general, okay, what the characteristics of the students who then turned out to be the topper. Similarly, you also don't know what will happen. But if you follow some of these characteristics, maybe you also turn out to be a topper. Okay, so what is a topper's mindset? And what is basically a normal student of mindset? Both are working hard, but one of them goes to, uh, you know, milestone. One of them does not achieve the milestone. What is the difference? difference in the two okay the number one most crucial part is the choice of selection okay up to what extent to go up to what extent not to go i'll tell you a regular student who is not very clear with this vision will be searching for more and more syllabus they will be greed for syllabus okay Ki or can I, they, they, they don't focus on revision they don't focus on test only syllabus 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 they keep on completing but guys you might have prepared for the last six months seven months eight months or one year i guess if you don't capitalize now by revision you will forget most of the things so even if if you keep grasping new and new things it's not going to help you a lot whereas toppers mentality ki baat kare so every toppers mindset especially in the last 30 40 days is all about revision so now here i by this statement i don't mean that they have entirely covered up the syllabus of course there will be students who have covered up the syllabus okay up to a maximum extent at least but there will still be some students who have covered let's say roughly 75 percent syllabus but then they understand the importance of revision so entire last 30 40 days Maybe they learn something new, but that could be only 10 percentage of their time. But remaining percentage is only and only okay revision. So this way, 75 plus 10, they will make the syllabus coverage also up to 85. But at the same time, that revision will make whatever they studied solid. At least when the question is coming from that 85 percent, they'll be able to answer. On the other hand, regular student only learning, 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 not revising, maybe not able to answer most of the question because in the exam, in the pressure, not able to recall. You'll only be able to recall the formulas in the exam when you have a lot of practice and revision over it. The end moment revision over it. Okay. Now coming to the second important point is, you know, as I told you, uh, the normal students are running behind, uh, you know, the syllabus. So that calls about planning. So the second difference between a regular and a topper student is, you know, uh, that regular students are planning here. Okay. It's not the time to plan. You should have planned earlier. They're only planning because they know syllabus is left. They want to cover more syllabus. So they are just planning and planning. And let me tell you, uh, such category of students, almost 20% uh, of the time they are just spending in planning right now. Here, each and every minute is important, but you're spending 20% only to plan, plan, plan. Whereas, what a topper is doing right now? Utilization of the time, management of the time. Okay, studying maximum. Okay, maybe around 10, 11 hours. And out of that 10, 11 hours, they are not making the plan. Their plan is made. They know how much time for new syllabus? Very less, as I told you, 10%. How much time for revision? Out of the revision also, how much time for test? Every day they might have decided, okay, today I'll give a subject-wise test or tomorrow I will give a mock test. Okay, if there is a three-hour mock test, it will be followed by a one hour analysis session. Okay, so they will have a complete time management chart. When is their mock test? When is the subject test? When is the revision? Which subject revision? Okay, and if there is new syllabus left, what is that 10-15% time I'm going to spend on the, uh, you know, revision? So they have a complete time utilization chart. Not thinking even a minute, ki kya karna? they know their steps. Other students are thinking about the steps. Thinking, taking, thinking, taking. But that thinking time should not be, you know, you know, spent at the last moment. Okay. Now coming to a third important point here is the mock test. Regular students, as I'm telling you, they're only running for new syllabus. And at the same time, they're afraid also because without revision, they don't have the confidence. So they want to delay the test series. And right now in the 30, 40 days also, if you delay the mock test, how many mock tests you'll be able to target? Two, three, let's say four. Okay, will it be sufficient? Sometimes yes, for some students it might be sufficient. But in general, I believe two, three tests are not sufficient. But whereas the toppers, 
they would have definitely you know given some mock test and at least till the gate exam i believe they must be appearing 10 to 15 to 20 mock tests yeah worst case more than 10 that's what i really believe okay because these mock tests are actually going to tell you the actual time utilization of the three hours okay not of your preparation time but on the d day the three hours okay how fast you are or how slow you are whether you are committing mistakes what type of mistake conceptual mistake silly mistake calculative mistake formula mistake everything will be learned okay at the same time very important okay are you able to sit in front of a computer screen for three hours okay normally when you you know doing a regular practice you're doing it on pen paper mode but on a computer hour sitting continuously maintaining that concentration and you know focusing the brain for entire three hours on a screen that screen time are you able to adapt to it Maybe for the first time or second time not, but if you give multiple tests, like I told you, more than 10 at least, you'll be adapted to it. Okay, then when you're adapted to it, you'll be used to do the virtual keyboard, you'll be used to do the scientific virtual calculator, which is embedded inside it. And then you have a three hours time management plan, whether you're going to attempt aptitude first or whether technical first. In the technical also, which questions are giving? Some questions, some students will have the approach of, you know, getting one marker question done first. Okay, to, you know, have more confidence. Some students, Every student has their own approach. Okay, even different toppers have different approach. So you have to set your own approach, whether two mark first, one mark first, whether technical or aptitude first, technical also with subjects first, that rhythm has to be there. Okay, that rhythm will show the confidence on the D-Day. And D-Day, what you most need is confidence. Because whatever concept revision practice will be till D minus one day. What you most need on the D-Day is the big amount of confidence. Jitana planning, jitana execution ke saath jaoge, utna confidence milega. Right. So it's important to uh, give more and more, more of mock tests. And the fourth and the last important point where I'll conclude this talk about is, uh, you know, regular students might be feeling a lot of points connected, a lot of syllabus left, less number of mock tests. Yeah, maybe given a mock test demotivated, so many things accumulated and that that make them think, yeah, I'm not onto the right stage. I'll just quit. Maybe I'll prepare for the next upcoming gate examination or yeah, something else. They are in a thought process of quitting. Whereas what a topper is doing right now, they also might be getting low marks sometimes in the subject test and even in the mock test. But they are not planning to quit. That mentality is important. They might be planning to work on the mistakes. As I told you, every mock test three hour session should be roughly followed by another one hour analysis session. Okay. And noting down the mistake, maintain a test series register. What mistakes? Okay. How to improve it? If it is in my control, if there is a topic which is not completed in my syllabus and I don't have time to cover it, forget it. But at least something which is part of my syllabus, have I forgotten the formula or have I done some basic calculation error? Ya, thoda sa formula ko wrong use kar liya. Something I forget so that you can work upon if you know the mistake. So regular students, thought process of quitting, giving up. Normal students, rising high. How? By learning more and more, by analysis of the test series properly and improving and revising a lot and a lot of stuff. So these 30, 40 days, I'm telling you know, the entire the past five, six months that you have spent definitely were crucial, but the most crucial part comes now, 30, 40 days, how your approach is. If you give up right now, everything is lost. Okay. But if you keep learning, if you keep improving till now, okay, keep learning even till date, you will be definitely in one of the top zone. maybe rank one, rank two, rank 10, rank 20, but definitely you will be at some, you know, good IIT or a good PSU. That's what can be assured to so see where do you want to see yourself and try to get the maximum benefit of the 30 week, 40 days. I hope this video has given you some insights about you, how your approach should be in the last 30, 40 days. Okay. All the very best for the gate examination. Keep rising high and definitely you will be successful. Thank you.